Hey everyone, I am Robber. And I'm E. Chip. We have been tagged by K&A's Family Homestead to answer some questions about this quarantine thing, which is now over. We're just a little late, as usual. <laughs> I'd like to thank Angel for shouting out to us. Uh, it was very kind of him. Uh, we really enjoy their channel, and we encourage you to go visit K&A's Family Homestead. They are a wonderful family who live in Massachusetts and raise rabbits and chickens and goats and all kinds of uh, uh, fun things, and we really enjoy watching their channel, and you will too. So please go check them out. The first question is, how many rolls of toilet paper do you have? Well, fortunately, even before this whole thing blew up, we kept toilet paper in stock. Yeah, I think we had hundreds of rolls anyway to begin with because we're kind of preppers. <clears throat> yeah, we already had a case. Yeah, we had a full case already. <laughs> so, But we don't know how many rolls of toilet paper we have. Still a full case. <laughs> I would think around a hundred probably yeah. however many is in the case up there but we already had those before any of this started yeah so. no panic buying of toilet paper for us so what are we down to now uh, a case <laughs> <laughs> i don't know 90 oh, <laughs> we're so pure we don't need it <laughs> um so go ahead okay so the biggest change since lockdown um you know first of all we don't consider ourselves in lockdown we never did because before or just about the time this started, they started doing lockdowns, we made this relocation to our place at Contentment from the central U.S. So have we been in lockdown? I mean, you know, it's hard to lock down somebody who's already in a remote place and not going anywhere. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, number three is what are you most grateful for? I guess it would be that none of our fa friends and family got sick during this time with the coronavirus. Yeah, I agree with that. <clears throat> what have we gone without lately? What have we gone without lately? Well, really, we haven't. Well, I mean, we've gone without many of the conveniences that most people have. Um, you know, things like running water. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, stuff like that. You know, our house here was unfinished when we got here. And, as many of you know, we suffered a big theft, a burglary, uh, of many of our things that we had planned to install. So it's been slow going getting that back together. Um, but, I mean, when we first got here, it was no running water. Mm -hmm. There's no heat. I mean, except by a propane, you know, stove. Um, you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, we've gone without many of the conveniences that people take for granted today. Running water, uh, stuff like that. So, And what are we missing the most? Um, for me, I guess it would be, and again, no longer, but I still probably wouldn't go out and do it, uh, like going dancing. I kind of miss going dancing. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we used to go dancing a lot. We miss doing that. But... You know, as soon as we get this place cleared out enough where we can move around, we can push the table aside and practice. So, mm -hmm. dancing is one thing. I miss my kids. Yeah, I miss yeah. the kids. Um, well, I've got to see mine since mm -hmm. we've been here because I had to go back. But, yeah, dancing is kind of the thing. But, again, I don't know that I would still go out yet, you know. Um, the last time we were at a campsite, well, last, last, last June, <laughs> last week, <laughs> No, uh, this is not a campsite now, no. technically it would have been last June when we first got here mm -hmm. because we were living in a tent yeah. and while we built this house, <laughs> we lived in a 16 by what, 16 by eight, eight. You know, Coleman tent or something <laughs> like that. And that was for, what, five weeks? Yeah, that was for a little bit of time. Before we actually were able to come inside this shelter and begin to use it. So, campsite. Favorite quarantine food? Hmm. I don't really have one. 
I just, it's still my favorite things like cookies and ice cream, but those are always my favorite, quarantine or not. <laughs> quarantine food. I don't know. Any kind of comfort food, I guess. <clears throat> um, Robert was gone for a while here a couple of weeks ago. She's gone for, what, 10 days or something like that. And <coughs> I, I, uh, I gorged myself on tuna fish sandwiches and you know, <laughs> things like that. So. Baked goods. It's his favorite. Yeah, thing. I love baked goods. <laughs> Any kind of baked goods. Um, okay, uh, how are we getting exercise and working out? Well, I'm just going to say this. Each hip is opposed to actually working out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've done it. And I, I don't know. I just the idea of going to a place and exercising, to me, just seems kind of silly. And running just to <clears throat> run is silly to him. Yeah. <laughs> Walking just to walk really is silly to him, too. You know, when I was 10, running just to run was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we're old middle-aged people. <laughs> Well, we get to, but don't don't get us wrong. We get plenty of exercise around here, doing and building things. So, uh, you know, just yesterday <coughs> was the day before. Day before yesterday, we got both trucks stuck down the hill uh, on our property here in the sand, in the soft sand. And so we spent a couple of hours digging those out and trying to get them unstuck. I really didn't dig. No, you didn't, but I did. I but got plenty of exercise. I have, I have physical limitations now. Oh. <laughs> okay, our pandemic panic purchase. That was number was number seven. Oh, uh, no, number nine. Our pandemic, pandemic panic purchase. What did we purchase? Dry milk. Yeah, that, that was That really is the only thing that we were concerned about not having in our pantry. Um, we don't really use milk a lot. We don't have kids who use milk. But knowing that we were going to be coming here, we wanted to get some powdered milk so it could be something we could use as needed instead of opening up an entire can of evaporated milk and then having it go to waste because we didn't use it all up at one time. Mm -hmm. But other than that, we really didn't go out and... I can think of a purchase we made. What? I wouldn't call it a panic purchase. I would oh, call yeah. it I would call it a <clears throat> contingency purchase. I forgot about that. Precious mm -hmm. metals. Uh, when this started to happen and we saw things going crazy with the Fed and the stock market, we decided it would be prudent to invest in a little bit of precious metals. And so that's what we did. And I'm glad we did. Uh, it's gone up. Since we made the purchase, and then if we run, in, if the country runs into real money problems, you know, with the fiat currency, um, which it looks like could happen, uh, then we've got a hedge uh, in some precious metals to, uh, you know, sort of preserve uh, value. So yeah, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. And then the last question: five channels to tag. Well, folks, I'm sorry we got to this so late. And, you know, pandemic lockdown is pretty much over now with all the riots and, like, all that, the floodgates opened up on that. So things appear to be, and I say appear, appear to be returning to semi-normal. Uh, so they're asking for five channels to tag. I'm sorry, with us, it will have to end here uh, because, I mean, you know. And uh, KNA uh, was so nice to include us on this, and, and we are so sorry that we didn't get to this sooner. Uh, we've been pretty busy here at Contentment. So, anyway, those are our nine, really, nine <laughs> uh, answers to pandemic questions. So, well, we hope that everyone out there is doing well, and hope that your friends and family and the, those closest to you have not uh, suffered tremendously during this strange little time for the world. But anyway, thanks so much, uh, KNA. Please go check out his channel, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye. Bye.